hello ladies and gentlemen so god wants me to share a testimony on how the devil used my parents to manipulate me financially and how he saved me praise god god wants me to use this testimony to encourage someone out there in fact everyone who is manipulated financially by family and friends he wants you to know that he sees you and he will save you amen don't give up on god he cares for you so testimony time so my dad's car was bad and he got another car and he said he wants to put it under my name for these reasons and these reasons and he said he will send me payment monthly i said okay at first he was making payments later he stopped but because the car is in my name i made the payment i noticed this was consistent it was not making payment like he used to I did not mind making payments at first. Later, it was consistent. I felt manipulated financially. Also, later, I went back to school full time and was not working for the main time. Instead of him making payments, he did not. So I started using my savings. I was paying for my car and his car. I was struggling. <laughs> I felt so manipulated, helpless, and deceived because the car is in my name. If I don't make payment, it will be in my records. I cried to God to save me. So when the next car payment was coming, I said to God, please let him make payment. Then he made payment. Hmm. Hmm. I noticed something. This is a spiritual battle. It is only when I prayed. That is when God cancelled the manipulation of the devil. It was not my dad. It was the devil trying to use him to manipulate me financially. I started praying each time. And God answered. If I did not pray, the devil will make my dad not to make payments. The devil wanted to manipulate me financially forever. So he put another thought in my dad's heart. My dad was thinking of buying the car. Right now, it was a lease. And the lease was for three years. So I was going through three years of devil's financial manipulation. At the end of the lease, you can buy the car or you can turn it. So when I was thinking of buying it, that means it will be in my name forever. I ran to God. God gave me a great reason to tell my dad not to put it in my name. Thank God. God made sure my dad agreed. So he returned the car and got another one in his name. That was how God saved me from the devil's financial manipulation. After two years, my dad came back and said, Tai, your mom and I want to start a business franchise. Your twin sister is married, your younger sister is married, so I want to put it in your name. I ran to God again. I told God, what do you think? <laughs> God revealed to me that the devil wants to use my dad to manipulate me financially again. <laughs> God said, if this business is in my name, the capital will come from me, whether I have it or not. And the effort, time will come from me to make the business successful. God said, he does not want the business in my name. 
because that is not his plan for me. He wants me to spend my time following his purpose. Because at that time, I was walking and writing the testimonies and good news that God wants me to share with the world. God was preparing me to be sent out to the world. The devil realized that I am a threat to him. So he decided to use my dad to stop me from doing God's purpose. If I refused, the devil will make my dad to make my life miserable because this has happened before. When I refuse to do what he says, hmm. So the devil has made my dad to take no for an answer and made him to think that because he's my father, he can make me do anything he wants me to do. Also, the devil made my mom quiet and not say anything when my dad was manipulating me financially. She knew he was doing the wrong thing. She would say nothing. When I reached out to her, she would say, He's your father. Hmm. She says it in a way that he has every right to treat me this way. In my mind, I said, okay, if my earthly father is treating me this way, my heavenly father will not do this to me. I was helpless and I ran to God. God became my Daddy, <laughs> he wiped my tears and he gave me hope. I asked God, what do I do? God said he has a beautiful plan. Later, God revealed his beautiful plan to me. He said, he wants me to leave my parents' house unless the devil will continue to use them to manipulate me financially. The question is, how did God help me to leave my parents' house? That is another testimony I will share with you in my next video. The devil thinks he can mess with me. He doesn't know that the same spirit that rose Jesus Christ from the dead lives in me. Romans 8, 11. Holy Spirit lives in me. The battle is of the Lord and he has already won the battle so parents if the devil has used you to manipulate your children please get on your knees and pray to God and say God I admit I have manipulated my children it is important to be open to God accept the truth and stop denying the truth so parents say to God, God, the devil used me to manipulate my children. Please forgive me in Jesus' name. Amen. And say, God, please help me to stop allowing the devil to use me to manipulate my children. God, help me to say no to the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. God answered and he has answered your prayer. He will help you. Keep praying to God to help you to stop manipulating your children unless God will ask them to leave your house. Now, for those of us who are victims of manipulation, pray to God and say, God, please, let this devil's manipulation stop in Jesus' name. Amen. And as God is making sure it stops, also say to God, please help me forgive the people that the devil has used to manipulate me. Because it is not them. It is the devil using them to manipulate you. So that you can hate them and be distracted to the point that you lose your self-esteem and not do what God has created you to do. We'll continue in the next video.